Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Williams and in this particular video I want to run through a little bit of my latest booklet that I've written, Programming Accessible Modern Graphics Volume 1, Exploring the Limits of Visual Studio and UWP Utilizing Win2D. And in this book it's one of a series of books that I intend to release whereby I, um, I want to bring forward the options that the developer has in order to program accessible modern graphics. So, what do I mean by this? Let's have a little look. Um, just before we dive into the book, this book is accessible on my LinkedIn, William Steady Jimmo. If you look on my um, timeline, you'll be able to see it there. It may also be on my featured, um, but it's definitely on my timeline where you can even download it. Um, the top right, you should be able to see the download button. It should be there as well. And, or you can just view it on the viewer on my LinkedIn. And as I start to complete the series, I'll probably end up um, publishing this uh, on Amazon via KDP. But for now, <clears throat> excuse me, but for now, I think I'm going to just um, release the art, release these booklets um, as they are as PDFs on my LinkedIn for now, accessible for anyone to view. So Here's the contents. I'm not going to read through everything here um, because it's, you know, if you get the book or you want to read the book, you can read it at your own leisure. This is just to kind of make you aware of what's going on. You know, I, I talk a little bit about why write games using UWP, um, a, little bit, a little bit of background on DirectX. This book really goes into the background of what um, DirectX is and how UWP and um, Win2D fit into the equation and where they stack up on the topology. So there's a bit of the introductory text here. I've got citations towards the end of my main sources that I found, some really good documentation on Microsoft's GitHub for Win2D and also some good books that I found and picked up. So here I'm talking about how UWP and DirectX interoperate with each other, looking at the topology a little bit there. And yeah, this is sort of a very gentle introduction into the world of understanding um, DirectX, um, some of the um, theory behind the render the graphics rendering pipeline, and most importantly, setting the, setting the scene for actually starting to utilize some of the Win2D stuff in UWP, starting by installation, and it continues from here and with the other subsequent books it will go much deeper as i kind of um taper off here uh, in the next volume we'll be looking at rendering a simple 2d scene how to create animations game controller inputs stuff like that um but yeah you know how to interact with your graphics and how to actually get them up and how to animate the graphics but for now this is sort of an introduction into the um into the whole concept behind how DirectX works, how Win2D operates, and you may find it uh, an interesting read, a good piece of reference if you're endeavoring in um, programming graphics using Win2D. I find that Win2D is quite helpful when dealing with UWP, as if I had to be honest, the scaling with UWP in terms of resolution of your apps, because it UWP tends to try and fit a universal scope for um, the platforms you're targeting. I tend to find that I had some scaling issues, but using Win2D sort of leveraged a lot of the um, headache, should I say, that I had regarding that. So I didn't have many scaling issues once using Win2D as I did with just the XAML in UWP. So that's something really good. And so, yeah, the book is available on my LinkedIn. It should be there on my timeline. And um, you can download it as well, as long as the link is still up. And, uh, yeah, this is all this is, is. This is just a little announcement. And I hope you find this, you know, uh, a, a nice short but sweet read. And remember, it's just the first in a, cup, in a series of entries. My name is Williams. Feel free to check out the channel for more of my videos concerning C Sharp and software development. Uh, catch me on LinkedIn and I bid you a great day. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.